After scrolling on TikTok and browsing the internet for the better part of three hours, I once again reach the ceiling when it comes to how unimpressed I am by people. I'm fed up. Most of what is out there sucks. It's almost as if everyone suffers from very low self-esteem and we're constantly trying to outdo the next person. Now I know what this might sound like. You're probably thinking, who the heck am I? to make such statements? Well, the answer is nobody. I'm a nobody to you. So it's okay. You don't even have to listen to this audio or to this video. No offense taken because there are probably more pressing things for you to do with your life. So off you go. Now, I genuinely struggle to title this report. Here are some, you know, worthy contenders. I was thinking, are humans overrated? Well, I couldn't use this because then this would actually imply that there are aliens out there or that I myself am some kind of alien. Well, that's a story for another day. We could talk about that. The second one was people are dumb, followed by the third one that says why evil men succeed or maybe everything sucks. Well, anyways, I'm sure I'll come up with a title for this. There's this new trend online where people are playing videos with the supposed speeches of Hitler. Yes. Adolf Hitler, the World War II Nazi guy. And all of these speeches, which were public speeches, have apparently been translated into English. And he's saying not so bad stuff. It seems as though he didn't want all the smoke, or should I say the bloodshed. And it also appears as if the Allied powers, which were the USA, France, UK, and some other countries, are the ones that kept the war alive. And now he's being praised by people and even celebrated by some if you think i'm lying i can't make this stuff up check this out in these so-called democratic countries the people as such are not taken into consideration at all the only thing that counts is the existence of these few creators of democracy now this could very well be ai and fake germany took a huge l in this war adults thought he did something for real for real skull emoji However, bro got absolutely cooked by British forces. W in the chat for United Kingdom. Well, I'm so uninterested because even if the speeches were real, we know, well, at least in part, about some of the horrible things that Hitler did. He was openly racist, anti-Semitic, abused substances, and he was, in fact, a warmonger. So where does such a human get off? being a hero and how are people falling for this type of thing well the answer is maybe they're just dumb or are people just too sensitive to everything these days no one can be wrong anymore we're constantly looking for validation and everyone has an opinion podcasts are popping out of nowhere by the hundreds there's always some mediocre did you know video waiting for you as soon as you log on to the internet now everyone is an expert these days no wonder these apps are so popular. They're cashing in on the fact that we all want to be heard because no one listens to us in the real world. Too many people are obsessed with fame and usually the fortune is nowhere to be found. So we put out any garbage as long as it goes viral. Case in point, Aunt Jemima. This is a pancake mixing brand from the United States that became popular in the 1900s, aka the slavery days. And this was the logo and this was the mascot, basically a smiling black woman. And now years later in 2024, someone has posted an image claiming that this was actually the full photograph and that Aunt Jemima was actually chained to a table because she was a slave. And my God, you should look at the comments. People are actually falling for this. I mean, this is obviously fake. This was obviously edited, but the person who posted it doesn't even care. And I bet you no one in the comments has done any kind of research. They just went off looking at a photograph and illustrated, or should I say, an animated photograph of this woman's supposed legs being chained. And now all hell breaks loose. And I mean, there are so many countless cases showcasing how people are just falling for the dumbest and the oldest tricks in the books. Maybe we are really just dumb. Look at these false prophets. They put people through everything, false pastors, preachers, prophets, whatever you want to call them. If Jesus can turn water into one, fish into his body, huh? loaves from the boy into what? Into what? Into 
his body. People can eat. Wake up! Stand up! Stand up! Upright! Attention! Close your mouth! Okay, I see food outside. Look at that. Look at that food. Be quiet. Be quiet. Okay, go and eat. Go and eat. Go eat. This is incredible. In fact, I remember reading about a story of a false pastor somewhere in Brazil who actually got to have sexual intercourses with people's wives and he claimed that his semen was what was going to cleanse them. Can you imagine? And now we also have this other part of the internet where people call themselves reviewers and this kind of thing. I mean, that's just basically someone giving their opinion as to what movie they think was great or what food tastes better than the other. Point in case, Keith Lee. So this is an American influencer. This is another word that I loathe. But anyways, this guy started his channel or he started his journey or whatever you want to call it, basically to improve his speech. And then he went off rating different types of food. So basically he'd eat, I don't know, a chocolate bar from somewhere in Japan and he'd give it a rating out of 10, you know, 10 being the best, maybe five being made and so forth. You get the picture. Well, this guy has since blown on social media. And now, whatever he eats, wherever he eats, if he says that this food is 10 out of 10, suddenly that little establishment or restaurant or whatever gets so many likes and visits from people in real life. And therefore, the financial starts going up. Now, that's good. Now, on the flip side, if he says something is not good, I mean, people actually lose business. Their livelihoods change. My point here is... Why are people going off what this guy is saying? I mean, these are his opinions, his taste buds. I, for example, like things that are sweet and sour at the same time. So if I'm to eat something that's only sour, bitter, or only sweet, I'll for sure give it a zero out of 10. That doesn't mean anything. It does not reflect the abilities of the chef at that particular place. So why are you guys going off what I'm saying? In fact, people are losing. Their livelihoods are becoming interrupted. People are struggling to pay bills. On the other hand, it's good when people actually succeed. But my thing is this. The problem is not with Keith himself. The problem is with the people. What makes you think that this guy saying this tastes good is actually good? I mean, this also brings me to the celebrity culture. I mean, I hate this. If The Rock Dwayne Johnson suddenly decides to spot certain types of shoes at an event or Kim Kardashian or Snoop Dogg, why is it that this particular product will then suddenly start seeing the light of day and sales increase and everything? Well, can't a celebrity or can't a famous person just decide that they like something and they want to wear it? What makes you think that by you wearing it, you will be as cool as that person? Or some people think or feel like they're supporting their favorite celebrity or their celebrity's brand and that person is actually grateful. I mean, they're not. It's just business at the end of the day. And here's the crazy thing. Here's the kicker. It doesn't mean that they're evil. Celebrities uh, create products, sometimes they advertise certain products which they themselves don't even believe in but because it gets them money that's what business is all about you know money makes the world go round you at home thinking it's got anything to do with a celebrity or thinking it brings you any closer or links you i just have to say that's very delusional type of thinking i'm like where is your head at you know i'm not sure who coined the term or the statement that said tough times create strong men and strong men create good times and good times create weak men and weak men create bad times. You know, I think that's it right there. We maybe just don't have very serious issues anymore, very pressing issues. You know, back in the day, you know, you had things like your civil rights movement, there were wars and so forth. But these days, I mean, there's nothing. Maybe this is why people are struggling as to what is a man and what is a woman. And you know what I mean? Futile things that should otherwise be decided by common sense. You know, at the end of the day, I think ironically, you know, with the way people are obsessed with things like likes and followers on social media, we actually really do need leaders. But then these leaders also ironically uh, mislead us, you know. 
uh, case in point, if you think about some of these cult leaders, like uh, I'm not sure what they called uh, Jim, was it Jim Jones? This guy was a false prophet who claimed to be a messiah and so forth, and he told people that the world was going to end, and he led people to a mess analyving, you know, whole grown-ups, men, women, and unfortunately, their kids decided to take their own lives because one man said so, because he said that they would meet up in paradise and so forth. I mean, where do people get this type of thinking? Why are we like this? Why are we like this today? So now I'm not saying that there aren't any incredible special people out there with talents and so forth. I mean, every now and then you come across a brilliant writer, a brilliant actor, painter, a brilliant speaker and so forth. But these days we have way too many pseudo intellectuals walking around, you know, people calling themselves uh, video essayists, uh, reviewers, where we, I myself am guilty of that, but I've since actually tried to change the way I make content and change the way I do things, you know, because these days it's so easy to point out what's not being done right in someone else's artwork, you know. We can just pick that work apart and say, you know, they did this wrong or they did this right, and, you know, we could criticize. These days, criticizing art and putting out content that criticizes other people's hard work is way more prevalent and way more easy than actually creating the artwork itself, you know. Like when people criticize Marvel movies, for example, where is your Marvel movie? Where is your creation? People are criticizing a particular artist, you know, or a football player. Can you even play football? Are you, I mean, can you even run on a treadmill? You know, that's my question right there. Where are the people that are supposed to be creating things out there, inspiring others? You know, I mean, I'm not sure if you guys really get where I'm going with this, but that's just my take on the whole internet thing and humans. Guys, I'm not impressed. You know, in fact, unfollow me, unsubscribe. You know, I don't want anything to do with you guys. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding with the last part, but I hope you get my point here. Yeah?